the sky is blue, the sun is shining, and it is a beautiful historical afternoon here in South Africa, where the South Africans among us are celebrating heartily. A very good afternoon to you all, and welcome to the Sunset Safari. My name is Jamie. Behind the camera is Darby. And in case you missed it, we won the Rugby World Cup. Yes, we did. Go Boca. So this afternoon, we will only be talking about Springboks. No other things. There was the only animals that we're allowed to talk about this afternoon. Definitely not lions. Not mentioning lions. Lions are in disgrace. That's why the lions haven't shown their face for a few days. <laughs> if you would like to get hold of us, please do. Please send your congratulations. We will accept them on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. Alternatively, in the chat section of YouTube, as we come live to you from Juma Private Game Reserve in the Greater Kruger National Park. We all. Yes, I do. Good afternoon, everyone. We have Miss Tandy here also celebrating the Springboks win today. Very, very proud day for South Africa. Of course, I'm not South African, but I'm extremely happy because I am Scottish and Scottish people, as you may know, do not support the English. Sorry, English people. It's just a rule of being Scottish. Anyway, my name is Lauren. I do have Seb on camera. Dream team right here. We have Miss Tandy taking a drink and we actually have some elephants off in the distance as well. So there's a lot happening here at the Dam Cam Pan. Now we literally just was driving past and the Impala started acting really bizarre and Seb said, whoa, what's up with these Impala? And the next thing we know, Tandy's here to have a drink. Now we were hoping that the elephants might come here, but I have a funny feeling they are going to Galago Pan. Let's just take a, oh, look at her, look at Tandy does not like being spotted by everyone. Oh, there's, just want to see if the elephants are going to Galago, then we can let Jamie know and she can obviously wait for them. Look at that. She kept her body so low to the ground. That was incredible. I just want to see where these Ellies are going to go and then we'll move. I think they're going to Galago. What do you think, Seb? So cursed, maybe you can let Jamie know that the Ellies are likely on their way to Galago Pan for a drink. And as for Miss Tandy's cup, we're gonna move now. She's on the move, we're gonna be in the move. We still have no further information. So we think the den site was changed. Just waving to all these people over there. And of course she moved them, which is normal if there's any sort of threat faced there. However, has not been seen yet. Unfortunately, we don't have any more information because the den is very much zoned off at the minute. Good luck, Lauren. I would love to show you the elephants, but unfortunately the elephants have wandered off. They're coming in this direction. I think they're probably going towards Gallego, but that big bull, he was giving me all the signs of, I wouldn't say distress, but it's just something. There's something a bit off about his body language. I'm not worried about him, I just don't want to go and he's in there, there he is, he's almost at the lodge. I don't want to go and harass him if he's not comfortable with us, that would be rather silly and rather pointless. Ah, just see him moving. I don't know, I think that's a really good question, David. Um, David wants to know if bull elephants get emotionally attached to other bull elephants. Mm. I am inclined to say, I'm just gauging his body language carefully here, I'm inclined to say no, but we actually don't know that for certain and I don't see why it would be that they shouldn't experience something like that. He's going to come out here into the open, so I'll just give him a bit of breathing room. He'll come out now. Mm. I don't see why they shouldn't. The elephants, of course, are very highly developed emotional connections, as you know. Don't stop right there. That, that's, that's really very inconvenient to go and dust bath there. There's a big... ...in front of me. Fortunately, Kirsty's on it and has decided to provided a provide us with a slightly better view from the dam cam. Thanks, Kirst. I'll try and get us a better view from here. I don't see why not at all. 
that they shouldn't get attached to each other. What I can tell you is that typically they, once they reach that sort of over 40 year old point, oh you horrible elephant, <laughs> what a horrible horrible elephant, really doesn't want to be on camera this afternoon Darby. Uh, once they reach a certain age, they do spend a lot more time on their own. Ha! Ta-da! Oh, now he's going behind another tree. He's probably going to go dust bathe there now. Mm. They do spend a lot of time on their, on their own when they get really old. Once they're sort of past that 40, 45 year old point. So, I don't know exactly the extent of their attachments. I think that is a really good question. I certainly think that in um, in sort of artificial captive captive situations is what I'm trying to say that they they probably do really form close relationships with the elephants that they are with because they're in such close proximity all the time. But in the wild, they do seem to sort of move about on their own. Look at Daryl. Daryl doesn't have any known companions. He is occasionally seen with other elephants, but there's no. There's no close relationship there. 